No shirt. Sure. I'm Ryan Nelson. I'm going to talk to you about a possibility project for the lack of a zero GP program in HSP. So, my background I'm 16, I'm a junior at HSP. I'm in Civil Air Patrol, which is the auxiliary of the Air Force for a number of years, so similar to a zero OCC program. And I plan on enlisting into the Air Force in July. And through this project, I got to meet a teacher here at HSP um, using the redirection center, Mr. Alpha. Um, he's an Air Force veteran, so he helped me out um, with this project and uh, figuring it all out. So, my statement is I'm developing an opportunity to have HSC start a ROTC program to help students decide if the military is for them and give them other opportunities in high school um, besides the normal classes that they offer already. Now, you ask, what is your OTC? It's the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. It's a federal program um, that the military branches pay for um, and sponsor. And the U.S. Army is the largest program with over 1,700 different units and around the nation, um, both private and um, public high schools. It's led by nearly 4,000 instructors that are prior active duty um, military <coughs> and reserves. National Guard, and there's over 314,000 students they mentor a year on a paper page. So my problem is just HSC not having this program in other schools around us do. Uh, for instance, we have schools just down the street, Marion, Pendleton, North Central, and APA, and APA's um, Anderson Preparatory Academy. So just right down the road, and they're one of the largest ROTC programs in um, uh, the nation. And so why they don't have, why is HSC not a part of this is the question that I want to ask. And here's a national <coughs> impact um, I got from the Army's website on ROTC, and there's changes throughout, like dropout rate um, at the national level is 8%, and with the ROTC program is less than 1%. Um, you do see that GPA boost, so grades and all that as well. So my solution, I plan on bringing the school, bringing this program to the school, and trying to join the other thousands of other schools um, with this program to help students. And then I hope to totally implement this program before the class of 24, so that's in two years since the scheduling just happened. Um, and I know this program would take some time to like, implement into the school system. And then thank you. Um, love the topic. I have quite a few friends who are in the ROTC, um, and they have just raved about how it has made them a better person. So I think that, you know, bringing that to the high school level, exposing them to the possibility of joining um, the military is, like, very amazing. Because um, I have a couple of friends who went to school, decided school wasn't for them, and have now joined. Um, so I think that bringing that to the younger ages, we see that a lot in, like, um, the JEL programs that are able to expose you to, like, you know, more career, more, um, like the, you know, what was it, like the mechanic, oh, it's too many years since I've graduated, but like they had the mechanic, um, they have like the cosmetology, things like that. So one thing that I would say is because we have so many schools around us that you mentioned um, who already have the JROTC program, maybe talk to our administration about being able to do like what we do for JEL because they go to it's like North Central. Um, I was in ICE when I was in high school, so I was like, I gotta do my half day here, half day as an internship. Um, maybe see if that that's even a possibility. Again, kind of more along the lines of JEL, but I can see where it would relate. Um, because it's like you said, you know, that's a huge financial task to take on. Um, establishing that here at HSC. But when you establish it with another already functioning school district that already has this implemented, um, it would definitely be something that's an easier transition, easier easier financially. Um, so maybe look into that, reach out to those schools to see if they'd be willing or even if it's even a possibility, because I don't necessarily know like logistics-wise how they can bring in students from other schools to be able to do that. But I mean, great idea, great passion, um, really great presentation too. I like the fact that you brought in one of the teachers here and he explained to you why ROTC and the military actually 
made a difference in his life because I've got relatives who have been in the Air Force. For example. Um, I would ask you one question. You're, you're want, you want to push this, and there are a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, first thing I would ask you is what interest is there among other students other than yourself? Have you really had a chance to gauge that? Yeah, so everyone, most of, a lot of guys around here, they are interested in the military, or they at least thought about it sometime in their lifetime. Um, you know, like, is the military worth it? Um, or they don't really know much about it. So just giving them an opportunity as like an elective class to take for a semester or two, that can broaden the range of knowledge of the military and see if it's even present. But let me make a suggestion if I can, because having covered and been around school administrators and school board members, if one student says, let's do an ROTC program, then they'll be fine, or you're going to be the only student in it. Uh, yeah, I got you. So if there are other, uh, not just students, but parents of these students who would like to see the program, that's where I would start organizing and, and <coughs> then talk to the administration. And usually it's best to get the administrators on your side and then everybody goes to the school board and makes a case. Uh, if you go directly to the school board, they'll probably just refer you to the administration. <laughs> Yeah. That's just the way that usually works. So, yeah. but uh, I think, yeah, you clearly are very interested in this. My brother was an ROTC in, in high school, and I think he felt like he got something else a long time ago, but he certainly felt like he got something out of it. So, uh, uh, appreciate your, 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 again, the word passion is used a lot, but you do have passion. Mm -hmm. so it comes through in your uh, presentation. So, just kind of think a little bit about the best strategies to use to get where you want to go here. I think you have a great idea. One more comment? Yeah, um, <clears throat> having been through OCS through college, it was great that you told your journey because you hooked the audience. This is how it impacted me. I met a teacher. This is what my plan is. So you really established a lot of credibility. Um, it was very well organized and thorough your presentation. You established a timeline. You signed yourself responsibilities. I thought that was really cool. You. Anything today from business to public safety has to be data driven and analytically driven. Uh, chasing a piece of paper and thinking you're prepared, if I have this title, doesn't mean anything anymore. You were data and analytically driven to a, to a certain point because you had those statistics on the website. Now, in order to drive this home, you need data and analytics from this school district. Take, do a survey. This is how many people were interested. This is how many people would take the elective class. This is, and you've got the graduation rate from neighboring schools. Take that one step further because like Larry said, there's politics. So just one person shouting fire, no one's gonna leave. You have a thousand people shouting fire, people are gonna take notice. Um, just a personal side note, consider going to college and getting a junior ROTC in college. They'll pay you. They'll pay you to go to camp in the summer. They'll pay you room and board. You don't have to enlist in July, yeah. all right? Yeah. You can go to college and I'll pay for it, mm -hmm. you know, and you still get to go to boot camp and do all that cool stuff. So just something personal, because nice. you got officer skills. Yeah. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. <coughs> hey, thanks, Ryan. <coughs> Good job, man.